In this video, I'll introduce you to my new DCTL pack called Color Shaper. These DCTLs allow you to select a specific hue and additionally adjust the luma range, making it very easy to target adjustments to the shadow regions or highlights of a specific hue. In the first 10 minutes, I will show you how you can easily fine-tune skin tones. In the second half, I'll demonstrate how to adjust other hues as well. So let's start with this example. I select the Shaper Skin DCTL. First, I click on Highlight. Next, I will lower the Luma Low High slider and also the Luma Range slider. And then I will slowly increase the Luma Low High slider. When I now move the Skin Density slider, we can see that we only adjust the shadow area of the face. This is before and this is after. Before and after. So the bright area of the face will not get affected and only the dark areas. We can also add a little bit of saturation and adjust the U if we want to. Let's reset the sliders. Click on Highlight. And now if I move the Luma Low High slider more to the right, we are now selecting the bright areas of her face. So we can add more saturation, brighten the face a bit up. This is before and this is after. Before and after. Before after. Here another example. First I will lower the Luma range and also the Luma low high slider. Then I will slowly increase the Luma low high slider and also adjust the Luma range slider. So we have a smooth transition between low and high. Then I will increase the density slider. So this is before and this is after and we've created more contrast in our image. Before and after can also adjust the saturation and the shadows. And if I want, I can also adjust the U. And instead of darkening the shadows, we can also do the opposite by moving the density slider to the left, we brighten the shadow region of the face. So this is before and this is after. Before and after. I click on Highlights and adjust the Luma Low High slider more to the right. And now I'm adjusting the bright area of her face. So this is before and this is after. Before, after. before and after. Here's some other footage. Again, I will lower the Luma range and I will also lower the Luma low high slider. Then I slowly bring it back up and also soften the Luma range slider. 
And now I can adjust the shadow area of the face. Then I click on Highlights and adjust the Luma Low High value. And now I can adjust the bright areas of his face. Maybe I want to brighten this up. So this is before and this is after, before, after. before, after. In this example, I also click on highlights, then I will lower the luma range. I will adjust the luma low high slider. And now I can adjust the shadow region in her face. And I can also adjust the Luma low high slider. And now I'm adjusting the bright areas of her face. So now I'm darkening the bright areas of her face using the density slider. This is before and this is after. before and after. And we are not darkening the dark regions. Before and after, and we can see that we are not adjusting this area here. We are only adjusting the bright areas before and after. And in this example here, the contrast of this image is pretty good, but the face is pretty bright. And now I will click on highlights and just lower the density slider and also the skin saturation, which is subtractive saturation. And this is before and this is after. before and after. Before, after. And in this example, again, I will click the highlight button, then I will lower the Luma range and the Luma low high slider then I move the slider slowly up. And now I can see that I'm only at more density to the shadow region. And maybe more saturation. So this is before and this is after. before and after. So this is some interesting footage because we have strong makeup and I will lower the range. Then I can adjust the center and can focus more on the red parts. And now if I'm changing the density, we can see this effect here. can also adjust the U. And this demonstrates that we have a really smooth roll-off between our U's, even if we set the range pretty low. Of course, this is just an example. Maybe you want to brighten up the makeup 
So we can move the density slider more to the left, change the U. So this is before and this is after. Before and after. Before, after. Before, after. And here one last example about skin tone adjustments. Again, I will lower the Luma low high slider and the Luma range. I will move the Luma low high slider to the right. And now I can adjust the shadow region of her face. So this is before and this is after. Before and after. The pack also includes these details for the six main U vectors. Now I will demonstrate how to use them. First we select a specific U lower the U-range slider and adjust the center. Then we raise the range slider slightly to ensure smooth transitions between neighboring U's. After that, we can use the Luma sliders to select the shadows, midtones or highlights of a selected U. So here an image where I want to change the yellow top. So I click on highlight. Then I will lower the range. Adjust the center, bring the range back up, and now I can add more saturation, for example, before and after. And here another example, first I click on highlight, then I will lower the range adjust the center to make sure that we really select the yellow part which in this case shifts a bit more towards red. And now I can add saturation, this is before and this is after. I can change the density, also change the U. And in this example, I want to make adjustments to the blue dress. So I click on highlights, change the range, adjust the center. And I want to make sure that I'm not affecting the sky, so I will lower the Luma range. Then I adjust the Luma low high slider. And now only the blue dress is selected. This is before and this is after. Before and after. And in this case here, I also want to adjust the blue sky. So I click on highlight lower the range, change the center, bring back the range a bit. Now it's very easy to get more saturation in the sky if that is the intended look. And this is a very interesting image here. So. First I will select the highlights, then I make sure that I have selected the blue parts. And now I can adjust the jacket. The interesting part is that we can also adjust the Luma. So first I will lower the Luma range, then I will also adjust the Luma low high value. Maybe something like this. And now I'm only adjusting the shadow region of the jacket. So this is before and this is after. Before. 
before and after. And this gives us more contrast in the jacket. But of course we can also do the opposite. I can adjust the Luma low high value. And now we are adjusting the bright areas of the jacket and it looks more flat. And here another example, first I click on highlight, then I will lower the range, change the center, and now I will add some saturation and some density, or maybe I want to brighten the dress a bit and add more saturation. So this is before and this is after. And I can also adjust the Luma sliders. So now we are only adjusting the shadow area of the dress. So a bit of the highlights, but more the shadow region. This is before and this is after. Before and after. Before and after. Here another example where I want to adjust the magenta values. So first I click on highlight, then I will lower the range. I will adjust the center and move it more to the left. Bring the range up. And now I can adjust the saturation for magenta. And if I need more control, I can click on highlight. Then I will adjust the Luma range. And now I'm only adjusting the shadow region of magenta. And of course, I can also adjust the Luma low high value and bring it up. And now I'm only adjusting the bright areas of magenta. So this is before and this is after. And here another example. First I click on highlight. I will lower the range adjust the center, bring the range back up and now I can adjust the saturation and density for the magenta part and I can also adjust the luma range and for example now I'm only adjusting the shadow region, before and after, before, after. I can easily adjust the Luma low high slider. And now I'm adjusting the bright areas here. So this is before and this is after, before and after. That's it. For more information, please visit my website where you can also download a free demo. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Have a nice day and see you next time.